Well, I was truly blessed to be able to um, be raised in a Christian home. I had Christian parents right from the very beginning. Um, faith was really of importance, extreme importance. I was at church every single week, and I knew that it was just going to be a matter of time before I actually made that commitment. I was five when I accepted Christ in my life. Um, it was during a it was during a lesson that very similar to what I actually teach now in children's ministry. Um, the teacher uh, went through Christ's ministry, his betrayal, crucifixion, his resurrection, in a way that I could understand. And then after presenting that whole story, um, I was asked if I would like to make a commitment, and I prayed a prayer right there, and Christ entered my life. I want to be baptized because I feel that this is my next step um, on this journey of faith. I feel like um, I've grown in my relationship with God over the years, and um, this is just kind of like the next step of that. We did not go to church much, but I still believe in God. Right now, my mom and dad are going through divorce, and it's a difficult time right now. I want to be baptized because I feel really good in my heart that I'm getting baptized today, and in my heart, I love Jesus. When my grandma told me about him, she um, took us to church and stuff, and we learned about him more. I want to give my soul back to God. I believe that there is a difference between just knowing that there's a God and living my life fully for Him. And before I really knew Jesus Christ and before I had accepted Him into my life, everything just kind of seemed meaningless to a point. Now looking back on it, it seemed meaningless. But I was easily influenced by all my friends and drugs and alcohol and all of those temptations in general. And afterwards, it was just like an immediate change in me. Everybody had noticed that I wasn't the same anymore. And it's like Christ's love for me had changed who I was. And it just made me want to live for him every day. I didn't party. I didn't do the things that I used to do. Like I would kind of like look down on other people for being different, I guess. And after that, it was like somebody would come up to me and say hi. And if they weren't in my social status, like I usually would not have responded to them or just blown them off. But ever since then, I was like, no, like everybody's the same. Nobody's different. Be accepting like Christ was. So that's why I'm getting baptized. It's like the grand gesture of my love and acceptance of him. I grew up in a family that believed in Christ and loved God. I always went to church as a kid and I knew I, I grew up knowing about Christ. And now I want to show my choice to follow him. A little more than a year ago, I asked Jesus into my heart. I, want, I wanted him to help me have strong faith. I decided to live more like Christ and to have more peace by really trusting him. I want to be baptized because I felt the Holy Spirit nudging me. I feel like I need to, need to share the message that real joy in your, in your life comes from following Jesus. And I don't think anybody should be afraid to be passionate about it. I did not go to church before this, but I believed in God. Our family is going through some, t some very tough times right now. My parents are going through a divorce, and it's very hard on me. I felt like getting baptized today because I wanted to change my life and get all the bad things out and get all, and bring new good things in. I love following God because it brings me hope and courage and it relieves stress and makes me believe in more. He this one died on the cross to love us better and know us better. I want to get Jesus back in my heart. I grew up in a spiritual family, but I never really worshiped God outside of church. This year I started going to the warehouse and I realized how important it is to have God number one in my life. I want to be baptized today because I want everyone to know that I'm a follower of Christ and I'm committed to serving Him. I prayed and um, let Him come to me and that He died on the cross for us. Growing up in, in our home and going to the Catholic Church, um, our home, we, were, we went to church every Sunday. Um, we knew that 
that God was always going to be a part of our life. I think after when when I finally left home was really when I when I stopped going to church. Um, throughout my 12-year marriage, um, we we never attended church. Um, it was just. There was always something standing in the way. We were always too busy, or there was always an excuse of why we didn't didn't attend. I felt that I was alone. Um, nobody cared. I realized that having Jesus in my life, there's so many people that do care. Um, I was afraid to take that first step, and and when I finally did. Um, he opened his arms and, and I just felt like all of my problems fell to his feet. I want to be baptized today because I want to let everyone know that I'm a Christian and I want to follow Jesus, follow in his footsteps. Hi, my name is Lucas Liskey. I am eight years old and I have been attending Spring Lake Westland with my family since I was a baby. At church and kids camp, I learned how, about how much God loves me and that he died for me. Last year at kids camp, I asked Jesus to be my savior and forgive me from my sins. Now I want to follow Jesus' example and be baptized. Let you start a new life and he forgives you for all your sins. So I cannot. I cannot be a new person and start over. I am Olivia, I'm eight years old. I grew up with a family that believes and loves Jesus and goes to church every Sunday. I want to be baptized because I've asked Jesus to, into my heart and for him to be my forever friend. And it's made changes in my life because in, in situations I have to think twice about what Christ would do and not just what another person would do. That's why I want to be baptized. I became a Christian, well, when I was little, I was baptized before, when I was probably around six or seven. And we were always raised in the Christian atmosphere, but as I got older, I, I would say I fell, I've fallen and just quit going to church altogether. I, I came up here and I was like, you know what? I was like, God, I'm calling on you. And I was like, please give me the strength to become a mom better, as good as they want. And then I got a job, got on my feet, and still a little rough, but we, he bought us back together. And I was like, you guys, I would really appreciate if we would start going to church. And they're like, church, why after all this time, mom? Like, because it's something we can do as a family. It's like, and we don't have to be embarrassed about what you guys wear or what we say or anything like that. It's like, we can just go and this is our family time. And then, we st and then I started looking for a church and my sister, um, referred you guys and we came and the kids really enjoyed it. I'm ready for a new start. I'm ready to give my life back to God and follow in His footsteps.